What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. I'm away for a few days, but I had to get this video out because I know a lot of people will be excited for Schmeichel. Is there hype or not? I mean, is he the best keeper? We'll get to that in a second, right? But it is Monday. It is new booster legends. We do have Schmeichel Dixon, but we are going to first take a look at these selection of guardians from the English league. So there's a couple in here. We'll start with the Spurs left back. Very pacey, doesn't have much skills. If you are going to be spinning for Schmeichel and you get one of these players that are not at the legend level, I mean, sometimes they're hit and miss. I think Varane, who we'll get to in a second, is, is, is quite beastly. But this guy is just your traditional kind of like offensive left back. You're going to be playing him as an attacking left back or else a wing back. Um, he's okay. I mean, he's got good speed. He's got good dribbling. He's got good everything like that. But it's not going to be on par with like the upper tier of players. Now, grand for a starting off, but then you're probably not going to be spinning if you're starting off. We also are going to focus on Gavardiel. So this guy is down as a centre back. He's a build up. He's actually got good pace and defensive stats straight off the rip. All the usual skills that you could possibly want, interception, block all of them are going to come as normal and as a build-up you don't need him to be as aggressive or you don't need him to be as pacey skills and all that i don't even worry too much about skills because of the positioning and the manual defending that you're going to be doing if you have a build-up in there he's just going to kind of do what he does anyway so this is a pretty decent card if you are spinning for schmeichel and you get Gavardiel, it's quite a solid uh, card to have kamara is also another dmf here down as an anchorman He's not too bad either. I had him on my road to glory. Very nice skills as well. We'll get to in a sec, but very nice stats to start us off. The skills, one touch pass, and of course, fighting spirit is going to be very, very important for an anchorman. Doesn't have blocker. Um, I suppose with a bit of investment, you could give it into him. You know, you could give him that and bring him up on par with other really like beastly defensive midfielders. He's also got a nice physique. You know, he's nice height, nice weight, very, very strong on and off the ball so he's a pretty solid choice but obviously it's not going to be what you're spinning for the rest of the players in the pack apart from Varane who we're going to focus here Varane is a pretty solid build-up player as well I would like to see a really kind of meta version of Varane the club pack was really good and this is kind of up there so it's going to be interesting interesting to see if people actually spin and get Varane if they use him regularly after like a week or two, you know, because for me, the stats here are really, really good. He's got great uh, ability. He's very, very good. He's got that meta speed as you would like, you know, into the 80s or the 90s, depending on how much you want to give him. But his defensive capabilities are always going to be strong as well. Doesn't need to be as aggressive. In fact, he's probably the perfect build up center back if you don't have Van Dyke. And if you're spinning for Schmeichel and you land somewhere around here, it's not a bad option. The rest of the players in the pack lads are hit and miss. I mean, depending on where your squad is. I mean, I mean, I'm comparing it for the average player of whether they're going to make a huge difference to your squad or not. So moving on to the actual legends, Lee Dixon, when I first saw he, that he was coming when we were previewing the Monday selection uh, yesterday, I did feel that Lee Dixon was going to be a bit of a hidden gem uh, if you were looking at kind of playing him straight up as a right back. I mean, nice skills. Of course, you always like with a defensive full back to have those skills, but the stats are pretty, pretty solid as well. We'll give just a brief run through of this and just kind of have a playing in the back. As I said, lads, I'm pulling out all the stops to get this video out to you guys when I am away. So yeah, if there is something a little bit off, um, we will get, be back quite soon and we'll be able to have more videos coming on this and really test these players. That's what it's all going to be about, man, is to test these players um, when I get home. So it's going to be nice to see these players, but you kind of know from playing the game for so long, you know how a defensive fullback handles. We've played with Wambasaka. Bergomi is kind of the same kind of ilk where he's got really high defensive stats and capabilities. Dixon's a good player, man, as a defensive fullback. Again, nice, solid stats across the board and nice skills. And of course, what he's lacking, you can always give him. It's whether or not you want to spin or not. That is, it's, it's up to you. I mean, I can't tell you whether to spin or not unless you're in the pursuit of building a meta squad to, to, to go up the levels, right? But obviously, all eyes will be on Peter Schmeichel. So there is kind of like a bit of a barren wasteland when it comes to goalkeepers. Obviously, you have Oliver Kahn. You've got Dan Aroma, Ablak Courtois, uh, as the as the as the and Manuel Neuer as the normal keepers, um, and then obviously everybody at the moment now is using Casillas or Czech or Dida or somebody along the lines of that. I think Schmeichel is going to shake it up. If people actually spin for Schmeichel, look at the stats, man. Look at these stats. Look at his booster. Look at what he's going to be able to produce. He's an absolute beast. 193 height, perfect height. Kind of reminds me of a better version of Dan Aroma. Now, obviously. Let me know in the comments below whether you would like to see me actually spin for Schmeichel. 
because I would like to test him out and he's going to be your end game goalkeeper for the rest of eFootball 2024. Let's be honest, got all the skills that you could possibly want as well as normal. And then of course his defensive skills with the booster and his physical contact and just that he's an actual physical beast is going to be really, really nice. But that is it for me, boys. I will be back very, very soon. We have a couple of videos pretty much done and scheduled to go out. So yeah, we will keep in touch with you on the Discord and on YouTube in the comments. Get in touch and um, we will pop in and out and see how you guys are doing. Until the next time, I will have more videos coming very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this and let me know in the comments below if you have spun how many spins it took to get Schmeichel, or if you did spin, who you got. I'm interested to know what kind of the consensus is of did you spin or not, because this is a real kind of unique pack, I think. I don't know if it's kind of like worth spinning for, but let me know. Let me know your thoughts on it. All right, lads, I will talk to you later. Peace.